Hi guys, welcome in the tutorial about referencing within Golem. I'm running Golem 6.2.4, which is the first version in which we introduce support for referencing. And uh, right before jumping into the tutorial, I want to stress two things. The first one is uh, due to the way Maya referencing works, make sure to never rename afterwards a node which has been referenced in your scene. So let's say you reference a scene and uh, you do some connections, if at some point you reopen that reference scene, change one of the nodes which has been connected to your shot main uh, scene node, that connection will be lost the next time you're going to open your shot scene. Um, and that will be pretty um, hard to know which connection has been lost and how to redo it. So make sure that before referencing a scene and uh, connecting nodes, that those nodes got a proper name. The second, things, the second thing I want to stress out is the fact that if you are referencing a scene that has been saved with a personal learning edition license, also known as PLE license, then your main scene will also be contaminated as a PLE when it's going to be saved. So to avoid this, you will get an in-view message saying uh, that you are currently referencing a PLE license scene. And you also get a warning message in the script editor, and uh, that would let you the time to actually unreference it and save it, so it will not be contaminated. So knowing this, now we can jump uh, within the tutorial. So um, one thing uh, I thought would be convenient would be to show you how you can create the whole behavior graph and uh, set up as a t set it up as a template that you will be able to reference later in whatever scene you would like. And I uh, also thought that would be nice to show you how you can create a scene with just your entity types. And uh, those entity types, once again, you could reference them within your shot scene. So let's start with the behaviors first. So I'm going to create like an entity type here. Uh, to uh, Because I want to test those behaviors first, I want to create an entity type. Um, I don't want to load the shaders because here that scene uh, will not be directly used for rendering, so I don't really care about shaders, so I'm going to sh just going to ignore that part. That creates an entity type node here. I want to populate my scene just to test once again my behavior graph and emit the character. So now I will get my casual character here. I'm not shaded because I have not loaded the shaders. And I want to set up this behavior so I can jump into is behavior graph here and what convenient and really casual setup you may want to have is having a like a avoidance and locomotion setup where you specify to your characters where you want them to go so i'm set up a go to behavior here i'm set up a navigation behavior so it means my characters will go somewhere while they avoid themselves regarding going somewhere i may want to create just a quick target once again just to make sure that everything works properly so select the target here Move it there, set it up within the go to behavior. So instead of, of using a random target, I want to use a pop tool target. And I also want to make sure to create a terrain, a default terrain here. Um, so if I just create the terrain node here, it creates a default terrain for ground adaptation and the default terrain, uh, empty terrain for obstacles. So if I run the scene, I'll get my characters, reaching the target, avoiding. Um, the other characters. So pretty good. And finally, I want to bring a locomotion behavior just to have my characters animated. And I want to load a bunch of motion clips from the character pack. And I want to just set up um, for every turn animation I'm having here, I want to make sure to load both the left side and the right side so I can mirror them automatically. So here, every turn has been mirrored, and the next time I'm going to throw the same, I'll get my characters. Here you go, playing a nice animation and uh, reaching the targets. So, okay. Um, okay, I've tested, my, I've tested my behavior graph. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to save this as a, a behavior template that I may want to use and reference a bit later. So just before doing this, I'm going to maybe clean my set a bit. As I said earlier, I want to make sure that my... Uh, nodes got a proper name so especially that container here which is the container I'm going to use later uh, let's rename that as a locomotion setup here 
Um, what else? I want to remove that entity type here because I don't want to use that entity type anymore. That's just a dummy entity type. So I'm going to remove it. Um, those population tools that locators add, don't want to add them anymore. So I can just add them as well. Um, if, you, if you don't add them, that's not a problem. You could add them within the scene, uh, which will be referencing those, but still, it's still better to do it from here. So, okay. And let's save that scene. So I'm going to save that as a zero zero behaviors for reference, whatever the name um, is just to make sure we're on the same line later. So I'm going to save that, overwrite that file and good. Okay. Let's open a new scene now. Um, okay. I'm having set up my behavior template, but now let's say that within your show, you have multiple types of character. You may have man character, woman character, children character. So you may want to do a scenes with all those types of characters. And uh, you may also want to have the shaders set up properly within that scene. So every time you load those, you'll get the characters, the gun characters, the gun characters geometry, and the shaders, and that will be ready for rendering. That will be pretty convenient. So let's create those types. Um, I'm going to create a man type first. Here, I actually want to load the shaders. So I'm going to use Arnold. So I'm going to load the Arnold shaders. Then I want to create a woman type. Here, I also want to load the shaders for the woman character. So once again, the own shaders. And um, I also want to keep things pretty uh, clean. So I want to rename my nodes there. So my first entity type is actually a man type. And my second entity type is actually a woman type. Okay. And uh, regarding the behaviors, I would like to actually use the behaviors I've created within my previous scene. So I would like to reference that scene within uh, this scene here. So if I want to reference a scene, I go within uh, the golem menu and press create reference. It's asking me which re scene I want to reference. So I'm going to reference the behaviors for reference. So it's bringing everything as a, as a Maya reference. So uh, pretty convenient here. It's bringing the manager, but it's going to be ignored because it's a reference manager here. It's bringing me the behaviors I've just created with my locomotion setup. Um, it's also bringing the population tools and the environment. So just one thing I would like to stress here is um, there's a bunch of things which are happening when you do a create reference. There's a bunch of connection which are happening for you. And one of those references um, here, within the referenced scene, there are some environment nodes like a perception and a terrain node with the default plane, etc. etc. So, let's say you don't have any terrain or any perception node within your main scene here. Um, when you reference a scene which has some, they will be automatically connected to your manager. So, if you go to the manager node here, you'll see that the terrain from the reference node and the perception from the reference node are connected by default. If you're not happy with that, you could just change that or you can just make sure that you've created a terrain before referencing a scene. Once again, this is not going to be my shot scene, so I don't really care what's happening here. Um, okay, I want to test those behaviors. I want to actually populate my scene with uh, my man and woman character. I want to maybe change the distance a bit and I want to create and populate my scene. When I'm gonna um, run the sim, I'll get my characters, some men and women characters. The shaders are actually loading in the background because I've loaded them. And regarding behaviors, right now they don't do anything, but actually what I would like them to do is to play that locomotion setup. So I can go within the entity type node here, within the entity type attributes, and what I would like to change is the container from which the behaviors will be assigned. So I want to assign the behaviors from that locomotion setup shape I've created earlier. So I do this for the man, for the woman, sorry. I do this for the man. And now I'm having my woman playing that uh, behavior graph and my man playing that behavior graph. So pretty convenient. And um, I can also override the targets. I can create maybe a, a whole different target saying, okay, I want all my characters to go here. <coughs> And I want to assign that target to my behavior graph. And now when I run the sim, I get my man and woman characters avoiding themselves, playing a nice animation and going to that target, which is actually pretty good. So, okay, excellent. Now let's save this as a scene I may want to reference a bit later. So 
Um, maybe let's clean things. Um, there aren't anything within the behaviors directory here, which we'll use because we're using the behaviors from the referencing. So I can remove that. Once again, I can just hide the population from here and I can save that scene as a zero zero types for reference. Um, so let's say now you want to do a shot. So I'm going to open a scene with some layout in it. Save this. And uh, that's just a scene with some random geometry here. But uh, as you can see, the layout is different from the one I've been saving within my other scenes there. So first thing I want to do is to create a nav mesh, uh, a new terrain node with all the obstacles. So I'm selecting the geometry, go within the nav mesh creator, go within the compute and save, and just create a new um, obstacle file, a nav mesh file. So it has created for me a terrain node with uh, all the um, obstacles things within that GSC file. Okay, and uh, let's say now that I want to populate that scenes with my men and women characters and I want them to just hang around and reach a target. So I can go within uh, the golem menu and say I want to create a reference. My reference will be my types for reference. So it's importing everything as a reference here. And if I take a look within the outliner, I've got my types there my man and my woman type, I've got the shaders, I've got the behaviors, I've got everything. So now I can populate that new environment and say, okay, I'm going to have a couple of characters from here. And, uh, well, let's say these characters will be mostly women. So I can just say, okay, I don't want to have much men here. I want to noise this a bit and uh, maybe change the orientation a bit. Uh, so they look this way, okay. And let's say I want to also populate from here, something like this, it's gonna be, um, so it knows about the environment, so I make sure never to hem it characters in obstacles. And it's gonna be, you know, mostly men here. Noise this a bit, change the orientation. I also want to specify the target, so the target is gonna be something like around here, oops, sorry about that. So where's my target there? Oops, well, let's recreate it from scratch. Okay, okay, so this is gonna be my target and let's set it up as a new target here and run the sim. So now I'll have my characters, men characters and women characters, oops, sorry, I forgot to emit the particles, I guess here okay yeah. let's create a particle system from this and let's create a particle system from that run the sim okay and now i'm having my um groups of characters now gathering to the target so you may notice that the shaders are not loaded yet um so one reason why they're not loaded is mostly because here the shaders they're behind the namespace and within the character file so let's open the character file Within the character file, if I go in the geometry group and I check the name of the shaders, which will be assigned here, you can see that shader here doesn't have any uh, namespace on top of it. So uh, Golem doesn't find a node with that exact same name because that node now has a namespace in front of it. So the way to solve this is actually to copy the name of um, the namespace and you can go within the display attribute, render preview display attribute, and there's now a new field which is called shading namespace in which you can specify under which namespace the shaders are. So for the man and the woman, you can do that. And you can just ask for a refresh of the geometry. And now um, the, um, the namespace are gonna be used to actually prefix the name of the shaders. And now you can run the scene and you can get everything properly with the shader set and loading currently. Okay, so this is your shot scene, so you can actually export it. So we can go into the simulation export. Um, there's, uh, yeah, this is the two crowd field you want to export. Run the sim, it's gonna export your characters here. And when it's gonna be done, so we're just gonna do a couple of frames here, we're not gonna wait for the end of it. And when it's gonna be done, it's gonna create a cache proxy node and within that cache proxy node, you can actually see your characters being 
running the simulation properly. And that's completely renderable uh, with the shaders loading properly. So, okay. Let's save this. Uh, so I'm going to save this as layout and let's save that scene as well. So, okay, let's say I'm uh, quite happy with this and uh, I decide to change whatever properties within my previous scene. So I can go within uh, new here, save that. And uh, I don't want to save this. So I may want to change maybe my, um, my behaviors. Okay. So this is my behavior setup and I may want to change something such as the speed of my characters. Right now they're walking, but let's say I want them to run to the target. I can just <coughs> maybe change the navigation speed so I can double it 2.8 and oops, 2.8 and change their acceleration as well. I'm going to save this. If I jump to my types scene, as this gets referenced, if I jump into the graph, you should find exactly the same modification, which are a new speed and a new acceleration. If you unhide this and you play the same, you should actually see that, oops, mm. Oops, and the population as well. Sorry about that. Okay. You should actually see that now they're all running to the target. So that's totally fine. And if you go within that layout scene shot, which reference both the types and the behaviors, when you run the same, you should get exactly the same result, which is having characters running So right now they're just replaying the cache, but if I go back in simulation mode and if I run the sim again, I get the characters running to the target. Okay, excellent. So um, when starting that video, I warn you about the way that uh, if you change a name of a node which is directly connected to your main C node, that connection will be broken. So one way to actually showcase this is here, one of the nodes which is directly connected uh, will be the entity type. So the man character and the woman character, they are actually connected to the manager within the entity types attributes. They're referenced here as a man type shape and woman type shape. So it means that if you go to that types scene and you decide to rename that man type or woman type with something else, um, that connection will be broken. Just, just to make my point, I will jump here saying, okay, this is not going to be man type, it's going to be um, men type for example and save that if you go within your layout scene here the type will be lost and uh, as golem could will not be able to find this so if I go within the manager you can see here uh, you don't have any you don't have the name of the type anymore it's re it's replaced by the reference node and here you can see you got plenty of errors saying that that's not proper so make sure that uh, you don't rename those nodes. Any other node which is not directly connected to um, a final shot node will be fine. Which means, let's say the clips, for example, the motion clips, which are uh, within that behavior scene, which are within behaviors here, and clips, they are just connected to other nodes from the reference scene. So I, I could rename within the behaviors any of those. That will not be a problem. But if they were connected directly to something within that main scene, that's going to be a problem. So I hope that makes sense and, uh, and uh, see you in the next video.